Hi, Gabo. Hi, Rifo. How, How you doing? doing? I'm I'm excellent, Gabo. You, um, you, I, I'm amazing happiness mode. Amazing happiness mode? Okay, perfect. It's time to tell me about the most amazing happiness YouTube channel of yours. This Okay, so before we go, we're going to say, tell us your favorite YouTube channel. Yes, we have tons of friends that we watch in the YouTube world. People that aren't our friends too as well. Tons. But I'm just saying right now, in this moment, who is your number one go-to YouTube channel? I will, I will change it no favorite because... In fact, every, I'm going to pull it up. Go ahead. Everybody that I follow is favorite for me. Let's see who so, is it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put them up. Who is it? So the first one that every time that, that I receive an alert, okay. I put it, I I that's the first thing that I do is uh, my boy from Iowa, the gaming of the grid. Gaming even, off the grid. Our even boys if, right if, here. Even if they love PlayStation so much, you know, even being so blind. That thing that you the know, PlayStation control is the best. I love I love them. They are they super are. awesome. They're gonna learn with the PlayStation 5, all right? <laughs> yeah. No, it's okay. No hate. We we love PlayStation. We, love PlayStation. we just me and Gab yeah. have a fun time goofing with PlayStation versus Xbox, you know? It's like Nintendo versus Sega or Nintendo Sony versus Xbox. We pick Xbox, but we still love both. Yeah, and yeah. I got two more. Let's hear it. And the second the second the second channel that I will say okay. that, you know, uh, it is a must see. Okay. It's uh, Master Jesus. Metal the, Jesus, our the, buddy. The great Master Jesus. You know, I, me and him were talking actually. Hey, look at that. Speaking of good good choice, this is one of the reasons we like Metal Jesus. Look at that right there. Happiness. <laughs> He's got oh my the God. I, I love, I love seeing Metal Jesus and seeing Xbox One. Yeah. He that's likes good, he likes Xbox 360, that's for sure. That's a good combination. Yeah. Would you ask about the controller? Yeah, you're right. Xbox one. Yeah. Who else? And and the third one. Uh oh. Third one. Um, third one. Who we got? Must, must see. Okay. Game sack. Game sack. Yeah. Dave and Joe, but formerly Dave and Joe. I love those guys and yeah, those three channels right now is what I currently must watch their cinematography always inspired me like wow even just being like a reviewing channel you can still put they're out so cool good. and they're so good f funny yeah you like it just with joe uh well i'll be honest i <gasps> like it more you know the og ones with dave but yeah. but you know the quality is, is the same they're awesome, dude. I love it They're both awesome. ways, to be honest. I like it both yeah. ways. Of course, everyone loves the teams, you know, in, in channels. You love the the, the, yeah. the Mario and Luigi of the show. But yeah, we still love it with just the, Joe. I miss, I miss that, like, Nintendo versus Sega fighting. Watch like, Console uh, Wars. You ever seen Console Wars? Yes, and really okay. good, too. Yeah, they're cool. That's what, dude, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a lot of, well, there's a lot of good YouTubers. Yeah, well, there's a ton. But the worst saying. one is, is that channel that is called Pixel Game Squad. That channel yeah, they're sucks. A, a, absolute. Yeah, disgusting. do me a favor. Every time, hit the no like button. Yeah, well, that's what I, I tell people unsubscribe, you know. I'm okay yeah. with that. Uh, for me, as a different one. It's not what most people would think. I actually have it pulled up right here. It is these guys over here, a channel called Braille Skateboarding. And if you look at them, Gabo, I mean, you can tell the reason... I like them and kind of discovered them as they reminded me a lot of us, but with skateboarding, they do a lot of stupid stuff, a lot of silly stuff. They're absolutely, and his name's Aaron, by the way, they're absolutely 100% goofy nuts. They do not take themselves seriously. They don't take life seriously. They like to do fun experiments with skate. Well, look at this. Oh dude, that's, that looks good. You know, they they just like to have fun, and that's what it's all about to me is having a fun time while doing your passion. That's that's what we do. We is like look at this. Look how fun it, that looks. It's a happiness channel. Very happiness channel. <laughs> they, did, they are definite did, happiness. Did Ricky like that channel? Uh, his son loves this channel. Uh, Ozzy, welcome everybody. Ozzy is here. Ozzy is here. All right. I'm sorry. He's he wants to oh, that's get okay. here. Yeah, well, I, have, yeah, I, have, I have another question for you, my amigo. What? I have another question for you. Uh, Go ahead. You and I are both fans of GameStop. Yes, sir. Most of the internet, and I'd say gaming, especially retro community, maybe even the newer gen, is not. 
How would you All feel right. if GameStop put out a notice tomorrow, not even related to COVID, but if they're like, hey, we got to shut down completely, we're done. I know that topic gets thrown around, but how would you personally feel? Uh, would you be affected by it? What? Yeah, I'd be affected by it. I would, I'd be so, so sad. Yeah. You remember what I always telling you, tell you about us as a gamer, what we're going to do when we're going to the shopping and yeah. all girlfriends, wives, Should've are in the, you know, buying clothes. Yep. What are we going to do? Tell me, you are, you are answered that question. Well, I like to shop for like a little yeah. bit because I'm in a fashion, but that yeah. only lasts me as a man, yeah. for me yeah. personally, five minutes. I'm like, oh, I like that shirt. It's my size. Good to go. But then like you said, I'm always like, is there a GameStop or a toy store here? Yeah. That's so, just my first reaction. So yeah, don't tell me as a gamer, you will not like to have a video game store it can be retro, it can be, you know, new video yeah. games in a shopping mall. Yeah. Well, and I've always said too, like, obviously we want to support mom and pop yes. shops over any sort of franchise thing because normally, normally, not always, they can have a little bit more chance of surviving or affording it or whatnot. Um, but not everyone has that chance. Say, let's say someone yes. like you, I know in your yeah. area, you don't have mom and pop retro video game stores 10 minutes, 20 minutes, even 30 minutes down the road. Yeah. But in GameStop is that option for you. It's like it's like I love I lost our friends over here that have their store like Game, Game Tower, Tower Pixel Ball. Those, those are my brothers, Pixel yeah. Ball, Tony in Long Beach. Tony Toys versus Games. Yep. Yeah, amazing stores. But yeah. me personally, for me, it's too far. Yeah. So of course, it's a, if I'm working closer to those yeah. stores and I need to buy a game yeah. or even cruising around, I'm gonna stop and support the stores. Yeah. But come on, let's be honest, man. Uh, we need GameStop. Yeah, let's I, be real. I, I, I let's like be GameStop. Real. And, and the reality is that let's be real with this. Of course, there are bad things. There are bad things about yeah. every company. And there's terrible stories from employees and stuff that does suck. But avoid that. If you know there's a way to get a good promotion, good yeah. deal, like I did when I got my Xbox One X, I found a day yeah. where they were doing like 50% more for yeah. consoles, even retro consoles that I picked up for like a dollar and I ended up getting like 60 bucks each for them. Like, be smart about it and you can enjoy it and that was an amazing deal bro that what was you an got awesome for your ex. that was awesome i got like dude. 700 bucks worth of my yeah junk. that's that's ridiculous and i that's probably ridiculous. put in like a hundred dollars for all that stuff of my yeah, it, so so yeah man i hope the future looks very bad for them yeah. but i hope they can figure out something out reggie can save them Oh yeah, you never know. No, right now it's you're, not looking so good. But no, no, not right now. It's they didn't want to shut good. down for COVID. They like said they were essential. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean for us they're see, a little see, essential, but see, I, I think that's the problem. Is, yeah. is they have so many uh, gray, gray or black spot yeah. in their in their history. Yeah, that that's why everybody hates them. Yeah, but you know it's like I always say, we have to not only look at the bad stuff. Yeah. Let's look the good stuff. For sure. I'm with, and that's anything in life. I like to look at the good stuff also. There's good in a lot like, of things. Like, like you right now. We need to look at your hat. It's the only good stuff in you right this now. This is a nice hat. I like this hat. Happiness. Happiness. Uh, Gabo, last, last topic we had here. This was your idea, so I will answer this one. Uh, yeah. You said multiplayer games that we enjoy the most. And um, I know I've been saying Paladins for everything, so I'm going to refrain from that. And I'm going to go over here and go about one of my favorite multiplayer, most played multiplayer games ever that I never really talk about. This got me in to multiplayer online. Absolutely, 100%, the original Counter-Strike. Oh, really? So this game, I this is when I didn't care about FPS games at all. Of course, I played GoldenEye and a few games like that. But my brother was more of a PC guy. And one day he was like, hey, Ricky, Aaron, Riff, uh, why don't we go to the cyber cafe that I go to all the time. It was like 1130 at night. It's like two bucks an hour and play this game called Counter-Strike. And I was like, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be my thing. I'm not into PC gaming. Within a week, Ricky and I were going there every single Ugh. night to like four in the morning playing Counter-Strike. No having way. so much fun getting Snickers <laughs> bars every time, eating Snickers bars together. Oh. This is really where Ricky and I like, started gaming that where it but, felt a little more hardcore gamer if that's something people want to call when you two fall in love when we fell in love no we fell in love when uh, we surfed together every night that was when oh, we were okay. I literally this tattoo as lame as it sounds this little sunset right here 
this Before was Ricky? i kind of got it like as like ricky what? and i's friendship because <laughs> we hey. what 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 is mine uh it's <laughs> right under here <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> yeah. well you better have one of me i will get one of you i will I don't, I don't know what it's going to be. It's just going to be some lotion or something. That sounded wrong. Like soft skin. That's why I said that. Yeah. What about you, Gabba? What is your go-to online multiplayer game to wrap up for the day? Uh, uh, right. Well, I, I don't know if I ever told you. Oh, you. Probably, yeah. It, it has to be Street Fighter. Mm. That's, my, that's my number one online multiplayer game. You know. Okay. And lately, I'm playing a lot of Call of Duty. Mm. Oh yeah, I, you are Warzone, right? Yeah, Warzone. I used to play a lot of, uh, you know, a couple of years ago, NBA 2K. But the last two ones, uh, I don't know, man. I stopped playing. Got it. So I got quick question. We are talking about this. Giving you a uh, Street Fighter love right there. Go ahead. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, but it's PlayStation. This is yeah, Max, it's this good. Is Max, no, Max no, it's and good. D. It's yeah. good. It's good. Anyways. What was your first multiplayer game? It was Counter Strike. Uh, online multiplayer. Yeah. Would probably... console, console, console. My first online multiplayer console. console. Xbox. Game, no game. Halo. Halo. First time I ever owned my own console, where I went out and played online multiplayer on my own yeah. console, and it was so Ricky and I worked in and out together, and yeah. we are we started on the same day. We drove together every day, same schedules, and we both got our same paycheck, same day, and we both went oh. down together. Ricky drove us, and we both bought the exact same things. Same Xbox, same games, and we went home and played. You're, you're talking about the OG Xbox? OG the Xbox, one? yep. Wow, that's a crazy story, man. It's cool. See, those are the stories that I love. So for me, the first time that I played online, it was on the Xbox 360, and it was Ghost Recon. Nice. I think that was a perfect game to play. And that was on the 360. On the 360. Wow. And, and I fall in love, dude. I I was playing that one in Gears of War. I loved Gears of War. Ricky got me into Gears of War. The and I, I, I really loved it, man. Ricky and I played oh, that game so a lot good, together. Man. So good. So good. That was my first really dive into like really enjoying like third person view shooter games. I think, I think uh, for me, when I first begin playing online yeah on console it changed it changed the the panorama that's how yeah. you say it yeah panorama of uh, yeah of uh, of video gaming for yeah. me yeah it's like an, another another world yeah. I, I, rem I remember working walking working and thinking about oh man i just want to go home and play online yep it was it was crazy yep. dude yeah, it's one of those things where I, I wonder, looking back, like, if I spent more time playing couch co-op when I was mm. younger or yeah. online multiplayer as probably, like, a early adult, 20s, you know, and that, obviously, you're an adult at 18, but, or whatever, the, what's, is that the rule? Are you an adult at 18? Is that what it is? I don't know. I guess. I guess it depends on your attitude and your immature level. Immaturity it is what level. it is. If, if, in that case, we're both not adults yet. Uh, I was going to say that. <laughs> I'll never grow up, bro. I'm still a Toys R Us kid at heart. So. Oh, me too. My hair can fall and I can get fat, but I'm still a kid. You're a kid, buddy. You're a kid, baby. Whatever. Boy. Whatever. Hey, Gabble, why don't we wrap this so we can film another one? Wrap? <laughs> My name is Gabble MC. And That's I it? don't know rhymes. So okay. let's get out of here. Time to go. Adios, Aussie, say bye. <laughs>